Hello, hi, what's going on? Your chief admin, no intro, what do you judge? If you are tired of entry level budget cars and high mileage scraps, today's video is for you. And on today's <laughs> episode of Cars We Can Afford, we'll be checking out some of the cool cars that were racing at Simola in May. Not all of them were racing, by the way, some were there just for vibes. I normally avoid reviewing ridiculously expensive cars because they put people under unnecessary pressure. Have you ever wondered why South African car reviewers don't own any of the fancy cars they review? Well, I'll tell you why later in this video. Ah, please the do. most watched automotive you YouTube channels in SA are Castor Koza, Muzi Sambo and Mr. How Much. Muzi Sambo is a dentist and a part-time YouTuber. He drives a Suzuki Swift and a Berlin. Mr. How Much is an aircraft mechanic and a part-time YouTuber. He owns a Ford Fiesta. Then Castor Koza is the biggest automotive YouTube channel in South Africa. For now. And Shiro owns an old Subaru, old Lexus, old BMW, old Mazda. He just has a cocktail of old cars. While you digest that, let's quickly check out some of the coolest cars we have in SA. And the first one is the Honda Civic Type R. This hot hatch is powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder turbocharged engine producing 235 kilowatts and 420 newton meters of torque. The power is sent to the front. Okay, I'm just going to pause it there. First of all, uh, all those new neutron torques and horsepowers and what, 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 all I know is that the car is fast. Yeah, it's a different language up in here. All those numbers, I'm not Mr. Number Guy. Yeah, I'm not Mr. Mathematics. Uh, eh, that's not my type of stuff. But yeah, the car is looking amazing. Honda, what is it? Honda Civic. Love it. Dope. But numbers. Hey, when you start talking about, I don't know, all I know is to rev. Rev the car, change the gear, eh? steering wheel, jigisa when you have to jigisa. That's it. Come on. And transmission wise, you can only get this Civic in manual. And it's a six speed manual. Okay. To get yourself a Civic Type R, you only need 970. For those in America. I don't like big spoilers, but I think I can do I'm not too sure about the exhaust tips though. The placement is just weird for me, but overall the car looks really nice. It does. It's a beast. This is definitely a racing beast. Whew. Whew. The second car is the Toyota GR Corolla. It starts from 841,000 rands and it's powered by a 1.6 litre turbocharged 3 cylinder engine. And yes, you heard me right, 3 cylinder engine. Some of you are already thinking, yeah, 840,000 rands for a 3 cylinder Toyota Corolla. Never. But it's worth noting that the GR Corolla produces 221 kilowatts and 370 newton meters of torque. It's competing with cars like your Golf 8R. The only difference is that the 8R is only offered in automatic here in SA and the GR Corolla is strictly manual. The car we are looking manual. at right now was yeah. driven by the other man called car. Racing cars are generally manual cars, Representing mostly. Toyota SA. He's into racing and currently cooking a Golf 7 GTI. You can check I out this channel this if you are into that sort of thing. This looks so good. let me know which car would you buy between the Honda Civic yes, for the painting and, all. and the it GR Corolla. Which car would I buy? Ah, I'm not a big fan of manual cars. So with my imaginary money, I'd go for the 8R, which is cool car number three. A lot of VW. people don't like the Golf 8. Pause it there. Now that you're bringing VW in the picture, this VW is mostly a South African car, man. South Africans are crazy. Uh, they're crazy uh, um, on VW. Um, but that Civic is dope. Civic is dope. Um, VW is always close to everyone's heart. Toyota is close to my heart because, uh, well, we've got a Toyota Corolla in the yard. I grew up on Toyota Corolla, I grew up on Toyota. Toyota is Toyota, man. Reliable, ever reliable. Um, but now that they're going, they've, they've moved into the racing field. Hey, it's different, bruh. You've got beasts here, man. What is this? The what is this? Golf 8R, R line. The Civic Type R, I think it's called the Type R or whatever it's called. I think, just for the sake of being different, just for that sake, you know what? I'll tell you at the end of the at the end of the video which one I'll take between these three. 
Ja, it's tough. Generation cause they claim 7.5. Put that down. Aus dem Weg. I don't see anything wrong with the 8. The only problem is the price. The 8R starts from 913,000 rands. And the die. Ai, aber doch hell, Mann. Ah, so na man ist hier, 913. That's a million bucks. That is a million rand. A million rand. Ah, man, das ist voll egal, what guy, what is it? 800 and what and 7000. Hey, he's not make sure. No, man. What am I saying? 87000. Oh, that's a fella like 87,000 and you it's a million either way 87 bucks what's that it's odds when it comes to this type of money a million bucks for a hatchback car I don't know bro I don't know if I'm willing if I'm willing to spend that much money on a hatchback Aye, that's a lot of money but people love it People love it. I'm not gonna knock it down. People love the golf. Golf is golf, man. It's golf is an iconic vehicle in South Africa. That's the thing. So people will always have the budget for this car. They will always buy this car in South Africa. But a million bucks, nah, dude. Let's go to the garage and see what other options are there for a million bucks. That's all I'm saying. And for a well-spec one, you'll pay just over a million rands. For a, Look, for a well-spec one, I don't over deny a million. An eight Wait. No, pause it again. So this means that you want to pay 913,000 Rand for an entry level R line. Over a million Rand. My people, be woke. A million Rand, you build yourself a house. Don't play this game. Don't play this game. Build yourself a house with a million Rand and then take taxis. It's fine. Car is a nice car. It's fine. But we'll meet at the party, the at the group. You with your golf, I'll go back home to my house. RS3 included. Then there's the new BMW M2 going for around 1.5 million rands without the M performance parts. When I first saw the design, I didn't like it. And now I still don't like it. But it looks pretty cool with the M performance parts, I must admit. Movies, movies, right? Nah, the these these cars are we definitely can't afford. Some of us, you can't afford these cars. Right? Well, not yet. Right. 550 newton meters of torque. You'll move from 0 to 100 in just 4.1 seconds, and the top speed is claimed to be 250 kilometers per hour. Once you're 100, spending your 1.5 million rand for the M2, which car are you buying? And please don't tell us you'd buy an apartment because apartments don't come with a six cylinder engine. <laughs> I'm not I'm gonna buy an apartment. Toyota GR yeah, who is it? It's like you knew I have a lot to say about, about this say. car, and I'm I believe one day I'll get a market. chance to review it properly. So for now, I'll just keep my opinion to myself. That's true, though. For this car, you'll pay $840,000. That's true. 000. An apartment doesn't That's come with a six cylinder GR pipe. <laughs> and because I strongly believe that a car must have four doors, I'd choose the Corolla over the Yaris. Here you get a 1.6 liter three cylinder Yaris. turbocharged engine producing 198 kilowatts and 360 newton meters of torque. The key selling point for this car is the performance. Everything else is a no. It's giving Swift Sport vibes. Speaking of Swift, Swift Sport, Sport, I honestly think it is an Swift interesting Sport. car, but the pricing is working against it. If you haven't watched my Swift Sport review, you can check it out after this video. I've watched it. Trust me, Lucy. I've watched your review. So I'll the watch smaller hill track is a 1.9 km Good stretch stuff, and the goal is to cross the finish line as fast as you can. The cars are grouped into different classes, but the weird thing is that the Swift Sport was in the same class as a Civic Type R. They just say front wheel drive, turbocharged stock cars, same WhatsApp group. They don't care whether it's a million rands car or just a 400,000 rands car. The event started with Classic Car Friday and Real Cars raced on Saturday. Here's okay. the car that stole the show. Franco Scrivante's Nissan GTR. You can tell the car is dangerous just from Franco how it is. Now, back to why South African car reviewers don't own fancy cars. Well, I can't speak on behalf of the it's others, beast, but man. I just believe there's more to life than cars. The beast is like a, the guys who a work racing at BMW mini dealers don't TLB. own BMWs. Most of those who work for Mazda don't own Mazda cars. Well, that front the more loader. you deal with cars, you start realizing that no man. Any car is just a car and it ends there, unless you are a hardcore petrol head. Most of the guys in the motoring industry are not driving big cars with balloon payments. It's always the young graduates that are struggling with car debt. 
because they want to drive the latest shiny BMW four months after graduating. You'll be safe out there. I'm not gonna lie though, the BMWs look great, eh? BMW, bruh, close to my heart. Okay. Car finance. Ooh, are we gonna, are we gonna see a bit of a drag race going on now? For the Tupperware moment of truth brought to you by the lady who sold me the Tupperware Quavo complex. Come on, what Georgia? Let me start with the positives. All right, um, shout up to Muzi Sambo, shout up my guy for the milestone of 100, uh, 100,000 subscribers. Um, silver accreditation from YouTube well done on that my brother I'm very happy I'm proud of you um, I, I watch I watch a lot of Muzi Sambo stuff right his reviews I watch this channel a lot very funny um, what makes what I feel makes Muzi different to everyone else I think it's it's definitely the personality you don't see a lot of him you just hear the narration but this personality and character in his narration, this humor. I love the humor. So guys, watch Muzi Sambo stuff. Um, I think he can make a lot of money though. Well, he does make a lot of money. He's a dentist, professional dentist, right? But I think he can he can really find a way to to open up opportunities and doors. I mean, picture this, man. I'm again, if he was to I don't know, open his own uh, con consultancy firm for pre-vehicle purchase advice. Can you imagine how much money he'd make, how many, how many customers he'd get? Because a lot of people find themselves, as, especially in South Africa, I can only speak about South Africa because I've never really been out of the country. People make big mistakes with their purchases, right? You purchase a car that you love, making an, emo an emotional purchase, a lot of them make um, spontaneous purchases only to find later that they, can, they really cannot afford the vehicle they you know they, either the payments are too high um, maybe there were clauses in the agreement with the with the dealer that they were not aware of uh, it speaks of things like balloon payments uh, there's a lot that goes in buying a vehicle it's not just the love the emotional element of it but there's a lot that goes into it and there's a lot that has to go into buying a car first of all affordability it will always be the number one um, aspect can you really afford to buy that car on your salary can you buy that car i think that's one of the, the issues that muzi sambo has touched on in a lot of his videos i think that's that's one of the things that made him um do this channel do these reviews in the first place because of his own experiences with making wrong purchases almost making wrong purchases and learning from his mistakes and learning from other people's mistakes can you afford the car that you want to buy really if you're honest with yourself and introspect can you really afford the car so um yes the emotional element is there but then if you can afford the car is it really the best car for you for your needs so there's a whole lot of things that you have to that factor in when purchasing a car. So somebody like Muzi Sambo who already has all these tricks and already has done his research about purchasing of motor vehicles, I'd say that if he were to open his own um, consultancy firm, I'm telling you the guy would really coin big time. But like, check this, check this, check this out, man. Can you imagine how much money he would make if these car manufacturing dealers? were to get him in their pocket to silence him because what he's doing here he's doing the lord's work hallelujah this guy's doing the lord's work right here he's advising us that hey my people be woke some of these vehicles that you're buying are not really not worth that amount that that is being uh, priced so if these car dealers were to get him into his pocket into their pockets uh, the guy would call him. 
move that guy would kill so shout out to Muzi Sambo if you liked my reaction please do subscribe to the channel and remember to share the link of the video with your family and friends okay then family Shep, love you peace Mama, what's the velocity now? Hey, Jamu!